Hi, I'm Sangeeta Viraratna and um, this is me. So I remember my childhood being something very colourful life. My house was always full of people because of the movies my father was involved in. Constantly had people dropping in. It was always like a big party time. Movie stars and television personalities were part and parcel of my growing up. My childhood was very entertaining. So my school days, uh, okay, so I was like the mischievous one in school. So a lot of teachers complaining. My sister was like the goody goody. I was quite notorious for the fact that I didn't wear socks to school. So I was the only girl in school who never wore socks. And uh, yeah, I was I was quite good in my in maths. Let's be honest, <laughs> I'm terrible in most other subjects. <laughs> my teachers. And my relationship was always a love-hate relationship. I loved them, they hated me. <laughs> also, I think uh, I was, you know, quite mischievous, but also not that bad in my studies. Okay, so age of 16, sweet 16, I got into movies. It was in 1990. So 1991, I had seven films with leading directors, all on the leading uh, role in hand. Pretty much the entire year was scheduled. I remember that that end of that year, I appeared in calendars for over 20 companies. So I was like, how can 20 companies, all leading companies, leading brands, just use my face, you know, for their calendar? I was also a brand ambassador for many of the leading uh, brands. Uh, like Lux took me on the very first year. Um, uh, Vogue Shooters took me on the very first year. Um, like that. Leading brands took me on for their commercials and as their brand ambassador. So I, was, I think I was pretty lucky initially and up until now. The most memorable moment would be my the first year in 1993. My first movie came out and that year itself, I was nominated for the best actress alongside uh, Swarna Malwarachi, Anujavira Singha and Irangani Seva Singha. I mean, just being nominated alongside them was, you know, as good as winning the award for me. And since that year, up until 2006, every year I had some award. It could be a Merit Award, Best Actress, a, a Critics Award, Most Popular Actress, um, a Jury Award, something. But I would, all, every single year I'd win an award for something or the other. So it was really uh, <laughs> nice to be accepted by uh, as a star and also by the critics and people who had a say in, in creative cinema in terms of you know, winning awards and things like that. And then in 2002 I got married and you know it kind of changes everything. <laughs> uh, so from being single to being married. So for one year I actually took a break just to understand what it is to be in, in married life. Suddenly from being everything being done for me I had I ended up doing everything for everyone else. So that itself was a major change which I had to get used to. Um, in 2010 I got my daughter, Poshi. I mean if I thought marriage was different, changes your life then you know it kind of topples you upside down being a mom. So yeah having Poshi again uh, for one whole year, I was away from everything else just concentrating on having for she, what I need to do for her, reading about having children, about their mental growth, what I need to be careful about, their early, early childhood, all this. I used to read and read and read <laughs> all what I needed to understand about, you know, bringing up a child. Um, so from then, back to work, not in movies, but with my husband in his work. And I also had Junit or the group that handles Ridhi Rag, which is one of the biggest events for the film industry in terms of making sure that our senior artists or anyone who's not capable of, you know, looking after themselves in medically or otherwise is supported by the system. So right now, I'm going to make a movie, back to work after a break of eight years, and you'll see me back on the large screen. So. This is my story. I hope it was fun. I'd like to add something to it. Believe in yourself. Because if you don't, no one else will. Cheers.